The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter of the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, Whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa nga lahat. May kasabihan ang mga matatanda na ang ulan ay swerte. Pag umulan daw, Malaking blessing ng Panginoon. Kukumpara mo yan sa mga panahon na walang katulo-tulo, mainit, tuyo ang damo. The Gospel of Matthew today talks about following the Lord. Ang pagsunod, ang papano magdasal. We always think that we know what to do. But the prayer this in this gospel today talks about Lord Show me the path that I will go. Pakita mo sa akin ang daan na kung saan doon ako papasok. It's a kind of prayer which does not anticipate God. Tinanong ako ng isang mataas na posisyon sa simbahan. Ilan taon na po kayo, Father? Sabi ko, malapit na. Sagot ng obispo, huwag mong unahan ang Panginoon. Hayaan mo siya. Siya ang nakakaalam kung kailan, kung papano. Ganito siguro, papano tayo magdasal. Huwag hunaan ang Panginoon. Let us just pray, Lord, show me the path where I must go. Pakita mo lang sa akin, inspire me on the way which I will go. Mas maganda, hindi yung set ng utak mo na sasabihin mo sa Panginoon, ito ang aking gusto. Ibigay mo sa akin. Apag ka yan ang iyong nasal, patay ka. 
Inuunahan mo ang Panginoon. Hindi maayos ang pagdarasal. Pagkaraniwan ay ganyan ang ating attitude sa pagdarasal. This is what I want, Lord. Give it to me. Show it to me. Set na ang utak mo. Let us thank the Blessed Virgin Mary of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa na tuluyan tayong binabantayan at tuluyan tayong ina inaayos ang ating kaisipan at para naman dumating tayo na kung saan doon tayo sa kanyang katabing.